But that said, we still have a game to cast, and this is going to be the second game in the series between Trinity as well as Dementi. Dementi with a 5-1. If he wins one more game, he is going to be a record holder for the Hurston standoff in winning six games doing his stint in the hot seat. That said, this is Babel, and I'm casting this game solo. Hope you guys enjoyed this cast as well. And it does seem like Trinity is going to be playing with his Paladin up against that of the same old Shaman. Looks to be a little bit different. I don't expect my control tech this time around. Just saying. So that's it. Let's just go into the game very nicely and quickly as well. Gonna have to take some time to change the screens. Part of that. As well as to update his calls a little bit. Um, it's 5-1 by the way for you guys who was just wondering. And I'm on a 5 minute delay, so in case you cannot hear me, do your best to tell that out in the stream chat so that I can make necessary amendments on my part when I see that. Um, that's it, it should be instant, but you get it in 5 minutes time. And it's an instant coined into a Unbound Elemental here. And the Unbound only signifies that there's a lot, a lot of overload cards in the hand here for Demanti. That's a simple read that most players can do. However, there's nothing that Trinity can do in this instance because he doesn't have any card that, can, that, that he can play that's below the cost of 4 mana. So he's gonna have to wait for next turn before he can equip up the interesting Trucible Champion. But by then the Unbound Elemental is gonna be a 3-5. Plus the fact that there's two irritating Dire, not maybe not Dire Dagi, but Feral Spirits there. Um, that is just very, very hard to deal with. That's it, Trulls of a Champion is going to knock out one. And I guess um, the 1-1 one -one is not even going to do jack. So we're now looking at Dementi having pretty good block control here. Stormforge Jack is definitely a play as well because that's going to give extra damage on to the Unbar Elemental. And boy, watch it grow. It's 4-5 right now. Man. It's crazy. That's it. Turn 5 for Trinity. He can't kill off the 2-2 two, two doggy, but he cannot kill the Unbound. And if this drags on, next turn we're looking at Lightning Bolt coming down here to kill off that and making the Unbound into a 5-6. Which is, again, it's catching. This is what Trinity is going to have to do. He's catching a train. Oh, in fact, it's even better. Top deck Lava Burst there to pick off the 3-5. It's a 5-6. He's catching a train. He cannot possibly dream of catching that is just very very insane trinity has got no way to kill the five six at all unless he goes for avenging rough and hopefully enough charges knock on that but he doesn't have much of an option he have to kill the five six this is getting out of control and it's going for that does he get enough damage to pick it up directly or does he have to sacrifice his own health going to that i think he has to do it so that say we have the true super champion sacrificing potentially three health here for Trinity to just knock off the Unbound Elemental, and finally, the Unbound goes down. But, at what cost indeed? We're looking at 14 health here for Trinity's Paladin. Dementi, top, top totem, say, 1-1 one, one totem, which is completely pathetic, but that's okay. It's um, it's like he doesn't have much he can play anyway, so don't really blame him seeing how he got completely overloaded by mana as well. There is the Blood Mage Telnos that could be used in his turn, but the Earth Shock is going to be the instant play here. No doubt about that, um, simply because it is just pretty good. And I guess the one with Pathetic Totem actually helped take care of Crimson Blood Hoof, which is pretty fantastic by all means. That said, we're now looking at a potential tier in 4 ring, but please do beware that there is Double Hex in the hand of the Menti. So can the Filipino Slug get any better than this? All the answers, complete God Hand here. He is on a roll. And Trinity doesn't have anything that could probably heal himself except for the Lay on Hands. Which even if he does heal up for 8, he's going to take 8 damage next turn anyway. So that's not good at all. That's it, if Tyrion gets hexed out, it's a complete utter loss here. Uh, but apart from Tyrion, he doesn't really have much minions he can play. Ragnaros is going to have the default first hand or rather one-up chance in the 50-50 to deal 8 damage off the fire element. As you can see, Trinity is just summoning, doing a little bit of the shamanic magic. Oh pardon the pun there but here comes Ragnaros and by fire be perching it and it's gonna be a damage directly to the face a failing Trinity in fact it does not does not bode well that's gonna be instant hex coming out from the Manti side and we're now looking at here in Fort Ring that's gonna come on next assuming the Trinity is under the perception that there is one hex being used the second one may not be there unfortunately boy it is just right there in the hand for the Manti and that's it, if he does play the tier in 4 ring, it's gonna get Hex, he's gonna die, he's gonna take 6 damage, and probably with that a Lightning Bolt. So it would be lethal next turn, unless he heals up, if he heals up he buy himself some time, 
but even if he buys himself, himself some time, he is just running out of time. So Demanti now with 16 health, may not be a lot, but it's good enough. And we have the Blumish Talonos just coming out, Lightning Bolt being used first hand, going one up against Trinity. And that's a lot of damage on the board, that Trinity might just end his stint here at Hearthstone setup very quickly. There is nothing he could prob probably do. He can actually Eldor Peacekeeper to 6-5, make it to a 1-5 whatsoever. And that's fine, but do note that there is a Ragnaros in the hand here for Demanti, so it's gonna be a pretty classy finish if he does do that play. Um, analyzing if there's any potential other plays. Tyrion Foring is his best bet, which is not a good enough bet, and I guess the Hex is gonna be such a disappointment for Trinity. And Demanti proceeds to win the second game and is now the first player in Hearthstone stand to win six games in his team here as the first player. And this is just crazy because Trinity out already and and this is just mind-blowing. I'm just glad right now that we decided to end the series yesterday because if this went on yesterday as well and it's like 6-1, this is not good. And we might actually see ourselves just finishing the series, the entire series, yesterday rather than going out to today. But that's still fine. And that said, like impurity, it's really bad luck here in the second game. You can see the perfect synergy in a the hand there for the Shaman. You can also see that I believe he runs a lot of cards that are maybe 4-ish, 5-ish, but none of those minions come out. Only current blood hoof, which instantaneously got answered. And, and that's just really bad news for... Not just Trinity, but for the entire squad. Their impunity, 6-1. And the biggest question is, with the task to come back so much harder to achieve, can they really pull it off? Or is Imperium just going to stomp them over? That's it. Going to go and update the score a little bit and see.